It doesn't matter what sport it is. The Big Ten Conference is constantly one of the most competitive conferences in all of college athletics. Big Ten hockey is no different. With some of the most legendary college hockey programs in the nation, Big Ten hockey's intense brand of on-ice action and rivalries makes every season, every weekend series, and every single game competitive. The Spartans have endured a challenging 2016-17 schedule, loaded with 14 games against opponents ranked in the top 15 in the nation. While things weren't always easy for the Spartans this season, there were many positives, including some marquee victories like a 4-3 road win at 2016 NCAA champion North Dakota, two wins over the Wolverines, and most notably, an impressive and productive freshman class that are helping lay a solid foundation. It's been a challenging year. Wins have been very difficult to come by. You know, to watch the growth of individuals and watch the growth of the team collectively, I like the style of play in which we're playing. Uh, we need to learn to do a better job playing 60 minutes and being ready for those key moments when they arise that you can't really plan for. But all those things are things that uh, through the, the challenges of a season like this will harden our players and our staff and make every one of us better. And we've seen that progress throughout the seasons. Started off kind of shaky, we had a tough first weekend, and then from there we kind of got things going. You know, we started playing good hockey, and uh, one of the big time, or big parts of our season is when we went in North Dakota, you know, really hard environment. We got a big win Friday night, and then Saturday we won in uh, double OT, but obviously that goes down as a tie, but that was big for our team, you know, big confidence boost. The biggest moment, and the ones that I'll remember the most from this season, are the wins against Michigan. Beating them twice in the Yost, that's um, the first time we've done it since I think uh, the year 1989. So doing that and having the better overall record versus Michigan is definitely the biggest moment for me. When we struggle, it's because we don't stick to our identity and play our way. And when we have success, it's because we're playing Michigan State hockey for all 60 minutes. And at the college level, you know, you need to play your way for 60 minutes if you want to win games consistently. I think if we play as a team, we can compete with anyone, so that's where we need the focus and be all 60 minutes just be playing together. I think for the majority of the season, we've had a little too much inexperience. Um, we had you know 10 freshmen coming in, most of them have been playing, so um, they've done a good job coming in, doing what they could do to help the team. During the course of the season, we've had nights where we made costly turnovers at bad times. Maybe we needed a goal on our power play, we didn't get it. Maybe we needed a kill on our penalty kill, we didn't get it, or a big save, and that didn't happen. Those are things that I think, as we continue to evolve as a team, as a group, uh, guys will learn from, learn from each other's mistakes, and hopefully learn from each other's successes as well, to see when key plays were made at key times and what it takes to be ready for that moment to make that play, because that happens before it happens and you gotta prepare for that to happen in practice every day. So it's been a good practice team. Uh, like I said, a very good group of guys that the chemistry is good. And I think as the team continues to evolve, lots of good things will occur. One major factor that sets this Spartan team apart from many others is the productivity of the young players on the roster. With three of the team's top four point producers coming from the freshman class, the new Spartans have gained an immense amount of experience. The freshmen have learned lessons against premier opponents and gained experience playing in key situations as they aim to take their play to the next level and restore the Spartan hockey program to the prestige of years past. Yeah, college game's a little different for sure. Everyone's bigger, faster, stronger, but uh, I think for the most part, the freshman class has done pretty good adjusting to the college game and you know we, you know, we don't want to just be okay out there though so we want to we want to dominate and um, I think we're on the way there but we still got a long way to go. Coming in you know you never really know what your role is going to be with older guys you know you, you think that they're going to be ahead of you and everything and I think coming in I just if I played in the just got in the lineup every night and you know trying to just contribute every way I can whether it be on the second power play unit or whether it's like a penalty kill situation or just Hey, scoring a little big goal here or there, what, that would have been great for me. I wanted to play in every game, I wanted to dress in every game, uh, do whatever I can to contribute. 
defensively, offensively, whatever it may be, whatever was asked of me. I, I just wanted to, to fulfill that role as best I could. I think the biggest thing is just uh, the less time you have to make plays. Uh, everybody has really good sticks and uh, you know good body positioning. But I think uh, as you play more, you realize that the game eventually slows down for you, which I'm starting to see for myself. Um, I'm starting to you know get back to uh, finding open ice out there and uh, getting myself in good positions to score. And uh, it's been nice playing with Taro and Apps and getting some chemistry with them as well. We put them in a situation that they earned lots of minutes and we needed them to play lots of minutes in key situations. And, uh, and while we haven't always been able to deliver, maybe to the extent we would like to, uh, that day will come. You know, as the season went on, I was, I was more comfortable with the puck on my stick. Uh, I, I picked up our D-zone system better. Uh, you know, so I think I started to gain that trust from the coaches. And, you know, I mean, to play in those situations is, is what you want. You want to be in those situations. You want to be a difference maker. Uh, you want to be able to get the puck. You look on the ice, you got four freshmen, a sophomore, um, a lot of young players, but um, definitely guys that have the ability to make the plays. My dad always says it's tough to grow when it's uh, sunny in 75, so um, it's almost a blessing in disguise when you're going through trials and tribulations because that's, that's the way to grow the quickest and uh, to develop the most. And I think uh, the guys are using it, um, we're growing from it, and uh, every time we're on the ice, we use those uh, past experiences, past failures to grow from it and uh, learn next time. I think we're a lot more detailed in our game now compared to where we were at the beginning of the year. And uh, the guys are doing a lot better out there, so you can you can see the improvement from the beginning of the season until now. Those tough one goal losses, they're gonna they're gonna help us uh, at the end of this year and definitely coming in the next years. I think for all the freshmen that we have, the ten guys that we got, I think those one goal games, those tight goal games, are ones that those are the ones that you need to win. I think uh, these are big learning experiences for us. I lambed it, walks in, shot, score! Clues. That's blocked. Elliott's second big block of this penalty kill. Denied by Lebanon. Big hit. Check. Kordorenko along with Landis. Hey! Good goal for Michigan State. There's a chance. Score! There's the game tie goal. Saliba's second of the night. Uh, every time I step on the ice, I'm. I want to be the best player out there. I want to try to compete. I want to. Like I, I think if you you don't think. You're trying to be the best player out there. I don't. I don't know if that's doing anyone any favors. <laughs> you want to be playing against the best players, the best competition that you can, and not only make your team better but yourself better. Um, and it's just embracing those roles and uh, playing in the moment. Really, it just goes from you know happy to be out there to you know we we want to do something for sure. And uh, I think this this class has uh, bright things in its future. And there's there's no reason. Uh, this class can't um, go down as winners and uh, go down as a, a great class and um, my goal for this class is to help the younger kids that come in uh, next year and the year after help develop them as quickly as they can like some of the older guys have helped us this year and uh, create a great team and um, that's what we're trying to build here a winning team and a, a championship team. The potential for this class is anything we want it to be I think. We got a lot of good forwards, we got a lot of good D, and we got two good goalies right now. So I think uh, I think if we keep working hard and we uh, put it put it into the offseason, I think we're going to be as good as we can want to be. Very strong foundation. And it's a group that will be hardened by a challenging season, yet they will be rewarded with the experience that they've gained. They'll be able to pass along uh, a great deal of the experience gained, especially this year, to the new guys who come in uh, next season. So. I think the, the, the foundation of this group is very solid and uh, they're on the cusp of doing some terrific and very exciting things here. While a talented group of young players can play a major role in the success of a team, someone has to train those players and get them up to speed as they make the jump from juniors to college. The Spartan coaching staff not only has impressive credentials, with experience playing in thousands of professional games and in multiple Olympics, but five of the six coaches on the staff have donned the green and white and know what it takes to succeed in college hockey. These coaches are dedicated to helping these young stars make it to the next level and bring the Spartan hockey program back to greatness. It's so cool being part of Michigan State. I've 
I love Michigan State, always have. And the unique thing about Michigan State and the alumni from different eras is they're all really tight. And uh, so I, I know everybody well, uh, or I'd known everyone well previously, even though I hadn't played with them. And uh, uh, there's great mutual respect and care factor. So and it's really cool to see everyone kind of trying to chip in and, and, uh, and take us to the next level. When I got the opportunity to come back, it was a no-brainer. I mean, love to be here. Get to come to work at Michigan State every day, uh, drive right past the Sparty statue, pull up here to Munn, and get to go to work where, uh, where a lot of people would love to. For me, you know, I just want to help them if they want to play, you know, continue on to that next level, you know, build their confidence, you know, just pass on some things that I learned, you know, through the years and, you know, hopefully that'll help them out. You know, if they if they come to you and they have those questions, and it, it's good to know that, you know, we, we have, we all have different various backgrounds of where we play and stuff like that. Right, and that, those challenges that we discussed were a little bit more like to, to the net like that. I really think what us guys that play try and uh, contribute is just those subtle little details to guys, things that they've never, never maybe heard before in junior hockey or midget hockey and, um, you know, you never want to say too much, uh, but I think if you hit guys at the right time on little personal things, I think they appreciate that you recognize that, uh, that little something in their game that you were watching and that, and that they know that we have unique perspectives that are, are worth sharing. Their resume speaks for themselves. They played, they played lots of pro hockey and Yorkie and Muzz and, and Fassi have played at all levels. So that, and Coach Miller for that for that uh, for that matter, but you know those guys have played at the highest level. So you want to take things that they say, take things that they do, uh, because they've been a pro and you know I aspire to play at the next level. So you know you kind of model what they do. Um, you do value what they say, listen to what they say. So you know when they, when they open their mouths, you know you know what they're saying is is valid and meaningful. I know personally, I'm I watch a lot of film with Fasty, uh, just his knowledge for the game, what he's been through, his experiences playing at the highest level um, is, is really been very helpful in my game uh, in all aspects of it. He's uh, you know really focused on the 200 foot aspect of it, uh, so he teaches me a lot from that side of the puck. Mike York and Brad Fast and Jason Mazzotti, I mean all three of those guys are, are have great hockey minds, they've played at the highest level. Um, they are just a wealth of knowledge and they can identify with where our kids are and where they are trying to get to and how to get there. And just our guys being around players that have, you know, done such good things in their hockey careers I think is real important and we're very blessed here at Michigan State to have three guys like that come back to our program and be such an integral part of our program. He had some movement before, like as the puck was coming to him. Yeah. We want to win. That's it's plain and simple. We're developing this team here. We're developing the program so that we can be a powerhouse. We're all Spartan players, you know, hockey players, and we, we want the program to be great. You know, we want to win. We want to get back to the to, to winning championships, getting back to the NCAA tournament. You know, it's it's pretty unique that you have uh, you know five six of us down there that all played here, and we're you know we're all our goal is all the same. You know, we really want the program to be you know great again transition so I think we can take advantage of that you know, just to continue our speed and get on it do you know what I'm saying it's not a, the, the handoffs don't we're excited about uh, the influx of youth and, and talent there's some exciting guys on the team and, and guys coming so uh, the enthusiasm is real real strong and you know there's a lot of teaching that has to go on and we all have to do sort of our part um, to contribute but ultimately uh, the goal is to win. We don't want to be close, you know, and lose close games. We we want to win and win championships. So that, that's why I'm here, anyways. We feel it's a privilege to come back and help out and maybe pass along some of the stuff that we've learned over the years. We've got we've got guys that have played over a thousand games in the NHL individually, um, and I think that that experience can go such a long way. We can teach these teach these players what it means to be a professional, um, what it takes to. Have a, have a career, whether that is in hockey or whether that's in something else. There's some discipline, there's some, some demands that, that they can learn from, from the staff here. The sacrifices that need to be made to, whether it's make it to, make it to the NHL or, or um, have a good career in business or otherwise. It's all hands on deck and we want people involved in the program. We want past experiences to help guide you know, future successes. We all want the program 
to get back to the national prominence that we once had. And uh, so we're not shy to rely on, on former uh, Michigan State hockey players uh, or those close to the program to help us do that. And we welcome it. We, we want those guys to come back and, and share their experiences. Welcome to the Mariucci Ice Arena in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Michigan State gets ready to wrap up the regular season for 2016-17 on the road against number five, Minnesota. Six consecutive conference championships for this Minnesota juggernaut. I say it's good time for the Spartans to shut that down right now. Saliba trying to get there. Clues kept him away. Around behind the net, Hiroshi out in front, oh, and yes! it's a shot goal for Michigan State. A scrambly garbage type goal. The Spartans will take it quick and dirty. The Spartans take the lead, one to nothing. Sanford with a oh. shot, and rebound came out into the slot. Ebbing was there, but he put it over the cage. A very good first period for the Spartan hockey program as they knock Minnesota down for the first 20 minutes of play, one to nothing. Well, like we said, Scott, Michigan State just seems to be playing in a whole other gear here tonight. Make it miserable for this goalie the second period. More miserable than the first period. Hit the goaltender. Hit the goaltender. Hit the goaltender. Hit the goaltender. And get lots of traffic there. Good 20. Let's go make this a better one. Circle back to Hirose. Hirose shot high over the cage. Bounces right back into the crease. And it's covered up there by Eric Shearhorn. Hands over to the left circle, turns around there, backhand try, loose off to the side of the crease from Ebbing. Ebbing on the run, two on one if the Spartans hurry into the zone. Ebbing with a shot, rebound into the slot. Picked off by the Spartans, another shot and a save by Shearhorn. Test. Come on, Joe. And now here we go to Joe Cox. Oh. Joe Cox in on, on by himself, takes the shot, and the save was made. 40 minutes down, 20 yet to play, Michigan State Still leading Minnesota by a score of one to nothing. Two real good periods. We're prepping for next Thursday. Two real good periods. We got 20 minutes of preparation time. Let's take advantage of it. Okay? Let's play hard for each other. Let's go. To Sheehy on the far side, down to the goal line, working out in front, looking for the back door. Couldn't get it there. Spartans battling for it. It comes out in front, shot high over the cage, over to the near side. Spartans take it away, batted off the near board, stays in the zone, Clues over to the far side, shot goal! Tyler Sheehy finally connects. Now Pitlick coming back in on the left wing, fed it out in front, oh. shot saved, made by Minnie, wow! Ed Minnie with some big saves in the final minute of this game here, Scott. One against Clues, the other against Latiri. And that's why we're heading into overtime. Wins. Oh, no. There's oh. a shot between the circles by Kloos and a save by Minnie. And we'll go to the shootout. Taro Hirose picks it up, goes to his left. Back into the middle. Back into the middle. Yes. Shot goal. He went upstairs over the glove shoulder. His speed down the middle. Cuts to his left. Back into the middle. Yes. Yes. Scores! <laughs> Zach Osborne wins the shootout for the Spartans. You guys know we can, we can beat anybody in our league. We can beat anybody in our league. And it's gonna start Thursday. So get your minds ready for that. Get your minds with that warrior mindset that we're gonna lay it all on the table for each other. It all comes down to this, the Big Ten Tournament in Detroit, Michigan. These will be the final college games played at historic Joe Louis Arena, and they will feature four top 20 ranked teams in the country and six teams desperately trying to stake their claim as a conference champion and earn an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. First up for the Spartans, the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Joe Louis Arena, which has such a rich history, not just for the Red Wings, but for college hockey at the Joe. And for our players, so many of them grew up watching big games in that venue. So for us to have our final Big Ten tournament in that location will be special for all of us on our team. Well, it's a great venue and obviously every time we play there it's a blast. You know you're playing in front of 15, 20,000 people. So uh, 
Hoping you can almost get a little home ice advantage playing there for the Big Ten tournament. You know, Austin, Michigan kind of got that advantage going. We're obviously there to win three games and make a, make a statement and get to the national tournament. So that's our goal and that's what we're going to strive for. I think having four teams in, that are ranked that could be in the NCAA tournament after the Big Ten is something that's going to be pretty special, especially being able to play in that tournament against that competition. I think it's going to, it should bring a lot of fans in and to see all the talent that's going on and see the talent that's going to be at the next level. Ohio State is, uh, has one of the best offense you know, in the nation, one of the best power plays, so for sure shutting down their power play is a huge thing for us if we want to beat Ohio State. Capitalizing any opportunity that we get, you know, they're a pretty uh, high penalized team, so any chance we get in the power play, we got to capitalize and we got to shut them down defensively. I think our matchup against Ohio State uh, for the past number of years has uh, been a lot of give and take, a lot of one goal games, uh, always close games. Um, we've played them in the tournament setting, so I think both teams know what to expect and uh, it'll be a matter of raising your game to the highest level possible and being, a, being able to execute uh, at a level that gives you the best chance to have success in all phases of your game. Winning formula is everyone playing for 60 minutes. Uh, we can't have three lines. We can't have everyone going for 55 minutes. I mean, everyone playing hard for 60 minutes, playing good defense, you know, doing the little things.